Welcome to Weekend Wisdom number 81. This week we're going to talk about smartphone messages and GDPR. This is a rare data protection uh, post by me. But I was uh, reminded this week uh, of a, a rare enough situation. You know, so most of my clients don't ever come across this before, but one of them received a subject access request from somebody whose personal data they were processing. Now, the scope of this access request was they wanted, the person wanted access to copies of emails and messages, text messages, WhatsApp messages that were relating to them. And my client had called me up and said, are they entitled to get access to our messages on our phones? And I explained to them, you know, a message on WhatsApp or in a text message is kind of just like an email. It's, it's, a, it's a record it's a, of somebody's personal data. You know, if they're included in there somehow, some way, their personal data is there, that would be a valid scope for a subject access request. So yes, text messages would form part of uh, uh, the subject access request and therefore the individual is entitled to get a copy of them. So keep that in mind when you're building your data protection policies or you're reviewing them to make sure you, know, you might have already covered off dealing with email, but also make sure you cover off things like WhatsApp messages and text messages as well because they are also in scope. So that's it for this week. Let's be careful out there. I will talk to you again next week.